Hi, my name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to get your TP-Link Archer C7 router online. Once you've got it out of the box and plugged in and everything, I'm going to assume that by the time you get to this video, all you did was take your router out of the box, plug it into the modem, plug it into the wall, uh, you take your little ethernet cable, plug it into the blue WAN port of your router, and plug the other end into your modem, and of course plug it into the wall, power it on, give it about a minute to turn on, let all the green lights come on, and once a minute is passes, once a minute passes by, you can go ahead and reset your modem by unplugging it from the power, wait 30 seconds and plug it back in, and from that point you're ready to get started with setting up your internet and everything you need to get online, and let's go ahead and get right into that. Once you have your router all plugged in and booted up, you can go ahead and add your computer to the wireless network. So you go down here to this little icon here, and you'll see two networks. Uh, you'll see TP-Link 1B02 and TP-Link 1B01 5G. If you don't see the 5G network on here, it means your computer uh, network adapter does not support wireless AC, which means you'll have to get a wireless AC adapter. You can go ahead and join either one of these networks. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and join the 5G network. I'm going to click on that one and go to connect. The pin is located on the bottom of your router and it looks just like this. I'm going to go ahead and type in mine, then hit next. Now I, when I initially joined this network I get this error, but don't worry about it if you get it because we'll be able to fix that in a minute. So go ahead and go to cancel. We're going to go back in here and join this network again. Now once we're connected to the router, you'll notice that we're connected, but I'm not on the internet. So you go ahead and go to your browser, and you can just go to tplinkwifi.net. Now it looks like this you're going on the internet to some website, but you're really not. This is just a kind of a trick that the router is using. So we're going to go ahead and go to that, and it's going to load up our router interface. Once you get this login screen, the default username is admin, and the password is the exact same thing, admin all lowercase. Go ahead and log in. Now you're going to get this quick setup window. You're just going to go ahead and click next. And usually you're going to have a dynamic IP. And if you don't have a dynamic IP, you probably know about it and you know to and you know what other option you need to select. So I'm going to go ahead and click dynamic IP. If you want, you can click auto detect and it'll help you through the process. But for most people, including myself, we're going to go with dynamic IP and hit next. We're going to go ahead and select no, I do not need to clone a MAC address. Now, I actually will need to do this, but for the purposes of simplifying this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and click no, and we're going to fix this later, uh, depending on your situation. I know I will need to clone my MAC address, but right now we're going to hit no and go to next. You can choose whichever option you want here. You can either have two networks or you can have one network, depending on which band you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use both networks and go to next. Here's where you can rename your network and set your password. Um, you'll notice that the password right here is the one that is on the bottom of your router. That's the temporary one that's made by the manufacturer. You can leave that or you can change it. Um, I recommend changing it, but for now, I'm just going to leave it how it is. And I'm going to hit next. And this is for your 5G network. You can make a separate uh, network name or SID and a separate password for this one. Again, I'll change these later, but right now I'm just going to leave them the same, and I'm going to hit next. It says, congratulations, basic internet and wireless settings are finished. Now notice, I'm still not connected to the internet because my ISP registered one MAC address that I'm allowed to use. So I'm going to go ahead and fool the ISP into thinking that this is the old router. You can either do it this way by MAC address cloning, or you can just call up your ISP and say, hey, I got a new router, and they'll help you out. I'm just going to do it this way because it's faster. This is how you do a MAC address clone. 
you go to network over here you go to Mac clone and you want to change this WAN MAC address to the MAC address of your old router now for me this MAC address is printed on the bottom of my router and it looks like this if your old router doesn't have your MAC address printed on the bottom of it clearly you can probably get away with just calling your ISP and telling them you got a new router and then you don't have to do the MAC address clone part you can just skip this whole step however if your address is if your MAC address is printed on the bottom of your router like mine is which happens to be this I'm gonna go ahead and save this and once it saves I can go over to WAN and now it is able to pull an IP address so now I can go ahead and visit a website if I want and there we have it our router is now basically set up and we are ready to get on the internet hey if you like that video and you like the way I explain things and you want to learn more um, I plan on doing more videos explaining all the different features of the Archer C7 router as the new router I just got um, so I'm gonna be explaining all the kinds of settings and stuff in there I'm also gonna gonna be explaining um, all kinds of networking things about home networking I have a lot to share um, just about wireless stuff and all kinds of stuff it's all fun it's all interesting to me so if you could just smash that like button that would let me know that you like this video and that I'm doing something that's worth my while and I mean no, it is worth my while because I love doing it it's fun um, but if other people are watching you know that's the point of me doing this so smash the like button and also, of course subscribe and that would let you see my future videos it'll give you notifications whenever I do do another video and you can also check out my website at ericshomenetwork.com and uh, I'll have all kinds of awesome information on there as well so if you like what you see just help me out here either subscribe like or share me with your friends and I will keep bringing the information to you thank you very much